Islam forbids the killing of innocent women, children, and anybody who is uh, non-combatant. We, are, we, are, we have a contract with this country to live by the law of the land and to not uh, transgress the bounds that has been set by Allah first and foremost and then by the law of this country. Islam does not permit the killing of innocent women and children. How, how does these like bad interpretations happen that people do the things like yesterday? yesterday? Okay, before I start, I will start with the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most forgiving and I will send the blessings and the peace upon all the messengers Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. Uh, like my brother mentioned, the, 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 our, one of our main purpose is to call people to worship God, like once to explain to them the, the, our purpose of life, likewise to refute the misconception and to refute ISIS. Why us are doing that? That's the question, yes? Okay. When you listen to them, they will give you the answer. Like for instance, the man that killed the soldier in the Woolwich, he said, literally, he said the reason he's doing it, not because Allah told him, not because Prophet Muhammad told him, he said because you are in our country. So it's a political issue. It's not because of Islam, you see. So, and of course, some of them use some verses that speak about Jihad. But those verses, like the verse, even the idio that I like to use, it's not even a verse to be honest, and that is sort of tawbah, yes? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qatiluhum haythu taqiftubuhum Kill them wherever you find them. That is not a verse. We looked at the verse before it, the verse after it, those verses speaking about specific events. That the, the, the time Prophet Muhammad, he was fighting against the Arab pagans. The Arab pagans will look, they still kill the Muslims whoever they see them. So Allah ordered them to do the same thing. However, do not kill innocent people. Because how we understand that, there is a verse in Surah Al-Mumtahina that Allah said, I'm going to recite in Arabic, they're translated. Allah said, لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين. The meaning of the verse, Allah doesn't know forbid you to deal justly and kindly with those who never fought against you because of your religion and never took you out from your houses. So Allah clearly uh, distinguished between the two group of people. As for those who come to attack us, so we fight them back. As for women, children, even a man that is innocent, then we should not touch them at all. Rather, we should be good to them, be kind to them. So those ISIS and Al-Qaeda, those lunatic people, uh, satanic people, are not following the teaching of the Quran completely. They take bits and bits and they go and explain it away. However, the Quran... Political objectives, no? Huh? With political objectives? Yes, of course, with politics. What Allah told us in the Quran, because Allah is the most wise, Allah never gave us a book and he said, you go explain it by yourself. Rather, Allah said in the Quran, Surah Al-Nahl, إِنَّا نَزَّلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا أُزِلْ إِلَيْهِمْ The meaning of the verse. We have sent down to you, O Muhammad, the revelation to explain to the people what has been sent down to them. So those verse about jihad, because you know every country has a law to defend itself. As a Muslim, we, we derive the law of uh, war from God, you see. That's why in Islam, if I'm fighting against an enemy in a battlefield and there's a woman and innocent people, I'm not allowed to attack them, I have to leave, you see. But in other people, then you have a law, you have to kill them because you have to get, you have to, tar you have to get your target. Yeah, you see, because uh, in Islam, no, the school has mentioned the strongest opinion that you leave them, yeah. You don't kill innocent people. So they are not following the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad said in a hadith, in a, a prophetic tradition, in a battlefield, in a war, he said, do not kill a woman, do not kill children, do not kill an old man, do not trace, don't go after someone without a weapon, do not kill a man or a, a scholar that worship in his God in his temple. The Muslim scholar said, if the reason of a Muslim fighting against the non-Muslims because of their religion, therefore the first people they should be uh, killing, who? They're scholars. So that shows not because of their religion, because they were attacked. The Prophet Muhammad was attacked by the Christians, by the Romans. The Prophet Muhammad was attacked by the Jews in Medina. It's a group of Jews, yeah. Likewise, but attacked by, by the Arab pagans. That's why he had to defend himself. So those uh, ISIS are misusing the Quran. That's why we are here to war against them and to say clearly they are not Muslims. Because not anyone try to use a verse from the Quran they has to be Muslim. I have to be honest, I have to, even non-Muslims try to justify the actions based upon the Quran. 
You see? So, to clarify something, how can we have a criteria to understand the Quran? And that is by following by following the Prophet Muhammad teaching and his companions. So when you look back to the teacher, the teacher Prophet Muhammad and his companions, they clearly forbid us from killing innocent people in a battlefield. They are not coming to a country and killing children, women. And something I want to clarify more. Uh, I mentioned that earlier on, but I want to mention because it's a strong point. Imagine I come to your country, to Chile or to Britain. I have a visa now. Now, British government went to my country like proper war, I'm talking about proper war. Went to my country, that's like killing people. Islamically speaking, I'm not allowed to do nothing in their country. Why? Because I have a contract. The proof of that, person might say you're just making it up. No, we have a proof. At the time, Prophet Muhammad, when he was fighting in the battlefield against the Arab pagans, one of his companions, Hudayf Abdul Yaman, came to him. He said, Oh, message of Allah, on my way to you, the Arab pagans got me. And they said to me, the only way to leave you, you have to promise us, you don't fight, you don't, you don't fight against us with the Muhammad. He said, I promise you. When he came to Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad did not say to him, forget them, they are pagans, we should kill them, all of them. He said, no, keep your promise. Obey and Allah is with us. Obey the contract. Obey the contract. Well, it's clearer than that. Yeah, really clear.